제니입니다. 오, 여기 조명이 엄청 강하네요. 어, 평소에도 빌리 음악을 너무너무 좋아하는 팬으로서 오늘 인터뷰를 제가 직접 하러 나왔는데요. <웃음> 네, 함성은 빌리를 위해 아껴주세요. 그럼 바로 모시겠습니다. Let me introduce Billy Eilish! <웃음> I'm good. How are you? 제가 오늘 인터뷰로서 열심히 빌리 양을 인터뷰해 보겠습니다. 잘 부탁드려요. And give it up for Billy, please. Hello, well, okay. So my very first question today is going to be, what was your mom's favorite song on the record? <laughs> <laughs> I think my mom's favorite song on the record is The Greatest. Um, but I know that she also really likes The Diner. But I know she likes the whole thing, so I think I know, it's the whole thing. I know, what can you not like from the album? <laughs> By the way, I'm so sorry, but did you want it to say hi to your fans I here? Hi I forgot guys. to give you guys a tie. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Thank you for listening to the album a bunch. I really appreciate it. I love you so much. Thank you for being here right now. <웃음> 네, 여, 여기가 조명이 엄청 세서 저희가 잘안 보이지만 필리가 너무너무 봐서 반갑다고 전했고요. 인터뷰를 진행해 보도록 하겠습니다. Um, well, the album has been out for a few weeks now. Um, how's it been seeing the fans supporting and loving your album? <웃음> it's been a trip. Um, it's really amazing. I did not think that it would be that it would do so well, honestly. I think that I I've been very surprised by everybody's reactions and the way that people have just been responding to it and talking about it and just relating to it and that's been really, really cool. So it's been, it's truly been like a dream. I couldn't have asked for anything like more, you know? Uh, well, I love your album too, so. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel being, I relate to this question a lot. Um, how does it feel being in a country with, um, uh, I'm so sorry, but <laughs> fans singing along to your song in a whole different language? I know. I've been seeing a lot of videos, and especially Korean fans know word to word of every single song. How does it make you feel? It's so crazy. It's, it's, it's funny, isn't it, that like, art does that, you know, like translates? And it's, it's like one of my favorite things in the world is to like, speak and talk to someone where neither of us speak the same language, but you bond over something. And I think that music is one of those things. And I feel like I've met so many like kids that like are a fan of mine that I, we don't even speak the same language and it's so amazing. And it's just like the most pure form of like connection I think that there is. And that's really cool. And it's cool every time I've done a show here to see everybody singing every word. And it's just amazing that anyone even outside of my state knows, let alone, you know, across the world knows who I am. It's really amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Love you. Um, was there any biggest surprise from the fans since the album dropped? Were you surprised by anything that the fans did or mm. said or anyone you met? Mm. Um, I mean, it's all been surprising. I feel like I'm always surprised what does well and like what doesn't. <laughs> I think like people's, people's love for like the song um, Love of My Life, L'Amour de Ma Vie is like, that one surprised me. I kind of thought that would be the sleeper of the album. I thought people wouldn't like care about that one. And they do, and that's cool. Uh, I always love when the fans go for the song that you least expect from the I album. Know. It, I feel like it always happens, yeah. too. <laughs> That's the beauty of releasing the album, I, know. I guess. I know. Um, what was... What were you most excited for the fans to hear um, from their album, and what were you the most nervous about? Good one. It, uh, yeah. Um, most excited... Honestly, the whole thing, I was really just excited for it to 
come out as a whole. Um, so I think that, I, I think that I really was excited for, for people to hear like the greatest and like skinny, just based off of like the, you know, songwriting and the melodies and I don't know, I just think those are really, those are like close ones to my heart, but truly like there's no bias to anything. Like I don't, there's no favoritism. I love the album so much equally. And then the thing I was most nervous for, like the whole thing, I don't know. It was just, like I'm saying, like it was very vulnerable and it was um, very, very me, I think, more than anything I've really made and that's really scary. So. Wow, that, that makes me happy to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and also, I know the fans have been begging for True Blue for years, and I was wondering what made you decide to put it on this album? Well, it was just like in the vault for years, and the original version of True Blue, you know, Phineas and I made when I was about 14, and he was like 18 or 19. Oh. I know. And, um, and we just never ended up doing anything with it, and then I think it just kind of got lost in the archives. And then, um, and then like in like 2022, I was just, I think it got like leaked on TikTok or something and people started talking about it. <laughs> and I was annoyed at first. And then I was like, oh, I kind of think this is kind of good. But then we, we talked about it and we both were like, yeah, we should revisit that song and then maybe like change it and make it more kind of us now and so we rewrote the verse and then we added a song called Born Blue that we also made years ago and then we turned it into one song called Blue so yeah needed to be done it's a beautiful song I I have to say thanks Jenny um by the way the Chihiro video was super awesome <laughs> thank you <laughs> do you have <laughs> thanks um, what was what are some memories or favorite moments from when you were shooting the video <laughs> Um, me, can I interrupt and say, me personally, towards the end when you were rolling around, <laughs> I personally thought it was a great scene, but I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna let you speak. Thank you. Um, I love that video too, and same. This, the ending, wrestling in the field was like, very fun. I had a lot of fun with my friend. Um, a favorite memory, I mean, it truly was like one of the greatest days of my life. It was so much fun. Um, it's just like I never get to do, I never get to shoot anything or do anything involving work with a friend aside from like my brother. That's why like this is cool, because you're my friend and that's nice. <laughs> and um, like shoots, photo shoots and video shoots, like just, I'm always like alone. And it's fine, it's just like, you know. Yeah. Serious. It's like professional mm -hmm. and whatever. And I had I had had this idea for Shiro, and I I had my friend Nat in mind, and I was just like, he needs to do it. I just need him to do it. And I thought he wouldn't, and then he it like worked out, and then he was in it, and it was so cool because I didn't, you know, have to hire somebody that I didn't know and somebody that I would have to like kind of be awkward around, just like somebody that's just like I'm bonded with, you know, just like a true friend. And uh, yeah, it was so much fun. So shout oh. out to him. That's great. <laughs> um, now we're going to jump to a different question from all the music to give you a little break. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any, so I get this question a lot. People ask me because we travel a lot, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you have any comfort food that you enjoy? Maybe back home or out here mm -hmm. when you travel? Comfort food. Well, I feel like for me, it's more like, reliable food, because I think when I'm traveling, it's kind of hard to find something that, A, I can eat, because I'm vegan, and then B, is good. No matter where I am, it's just hard. So I feel like I can always rely on like rice, mm. just like white rice. <laughs> no, <laughs> I love I, white rice. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'll eat white rice and soy sauce like any time, at any, at forever. That or like French fries. <laughs> You're right. It's French. just reliable. It's like yeah. always it good. Can't, it can't really go wrong. You really can't go wrong. Yeah. It's like, I'm good. It's mm -hmm. good. No matter where I am, I feel like there will be good French fries or rice. You are very <laughs> right. <laughs> How random the order of these questions are. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> um, what has been your creative inspiration for this album? 
don't even know. I think, I feel like this might sound like pretentious, but Phineas and I were kind of being inspired by what we were making. It was weird, like it sounds weird to say, but I can't really like pinpoint anything that was, I mean, I'm inspired by things all the time, mm -hmm. you know, but mm -hmm. I think that like overall, we had so many little like gadgets and toys we were using to make the album that mm -hmm. we'd never used before that were, that made us really inspired. Like mm -hmm. little things where you press a button and it makes a weird little noise or you record yourself and then it, you pitch it down or you speed it up or you whatever. And those were so weird and different and they gave us so many ideas. And so I feel like we got ideas from getting ideas, from getting more ideas, you know? I don't know, it's like hard to explain, but I think once we just started being a little more uh, experimental, it just kind of kept flowing and going. You're, you did a great job answering this question because <laughs> I've had the creative inspirations questions before and I always blank <laughs> out because no you never know, like it's hard to pinpoint. But like you said, I agreed to what you said about once you just keep going, yeah. it just comes it just comes happens. Along. It just, yeah, it happens. It just happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you feel like you have any creative inspiration? I feel like it kind of just comes out. Mm -hmm. you oh, know definitely, I, mean? I agree. With How you. did the making of this album differ from the previous album? It differed in that I was an adult mm. for the first time. I've never been an, an adult making music before, and that was weird. That was very weird. Everything I've ever made has been while I am a teenager. And yeah, this was the first time I was a grown human. Did you feel any more like freedom or did you use anything that you learned over the years into yourself? <laughs> I guess you knew better about yourself Probably, than, than, than last. Than I then. don't even know if I did. I think that, girl, I don't know. Like <laughs> when we were making this album, I was really struggling with who I was and what I wanted and if I wanted anything at all, to be real. So that was kind of my whole vibe mm -hmm. <laughs> at the time, which was really challenging to be inspired during. Um, so I don't know, it was honestly really scary. Like Phineas and I were in a very different place than we've ever been and it was very foreign and confusing and, you know, uncomfortable. And then it just talk, took a lot of talking and communicating and pushing through that uncomfortable feeling and just getting to the other side. Mm. Yeah. That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> they also want me to ask you, what's your current anthem? I don't know why, because it should be Hit me hard and soft, <laughs> but still, if there is any current anthem that you <laughs> might want to add. <laughs> um, current anthem, gosh, I'm trying to think. Um, 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 it, ugh, gosh, I don't know. I, <laughs> Black Bang, maybe. <laughs> I'm totally joking. <laughs> Your future solo album Ooh. that you're working on right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wink, wink. But wink, yeah, wink. thank you. <laughs> I don't know, though. I don't know. Yeah. So now I think we're going to jump to some questions by our fans Next here. This question is from Ito One Nim. I like this question when I get asked. Musician이 되지 않았다면 무슨 직업을 가졌을 것 같아요? What do you think you would have had done if you didn't become a musician? Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to do with my life. That's what my plan was. Um, and I don't even know if that would have happened anyway because I got injured and I kind of couldn't dance anymore, but I really wanted to be a dancer. Um, so that was the thing. I also wanted to be like a, an Olympic gymnast, but that was never gonna happen. <laughs> I think the world would have been happy with you being a dancer, but we got we got Billy instead as a singer, so. I'm glad. I'm glad um, this happened instead. What about you? If I didn't become a musician? Yeah. 
That's a, I, it changes time to time, but I, I tell them I wanted to become like a panda. Oh. <laughs> uh, like someone that takes care of a panda at a zoo. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Not little, a panda, but. Like a pa I was like, <laughs> you wanted to become a panda? <laughs> Not a panda. So you want to be like a panda caretaker? Yeah. yeah. Like at the zoo. I yeah. had a passion for that. Many more, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm also here, so. <laughs> I feel like you could still do that. Maybe as my side kick I'm yes yeah, I'm still looking into it yeah. so <laughs> um, this is a last question from your fan Jenny <laughs> I'm asking how was I as a terrible interview of your day <laughs> you're so perfect this is a lot of work to do for you I, I thought I would have done a better job no you did such a stop you did such but a job I just hope you had fun I feel bad and that less of an interview <laughs> a little talk with your friends I feel bad that you're interviewing me because guys look who is it in front of me right now oh it's so cool I love you, Jenny. Thank you for doing this. You're definitely interviewing me when my album Done. comes out. Done. I'm there. It is happening. Yeah. Uh, 여기까지가 저희가 준비한 시간이고요. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming, and thank you to our amazing Billy <laughs> for spending um, time with me. Thank you Thank so you much. Guys. Love you so much. Thank you, Jenny. Everybody make some Thank noise. Thank you, Billy. Billy, everyone, 많이 들어주세요.